Two vertical forces are applied to a beam of the cross section shown. What are the stresses at the top and the bottom of the beam? This is the second example for the main video around bending stresses, link below. So make sure to watch that one first if you haven't already. Just like we did in the video for example 1, we'll need to find the centroid for Y and I and a bending diagram to find the maximum moment. With the free body and shear diagrams, we find in the moment diagram that the maximum moment is 500 kip inches. The centroid of my cross section area will show me where the neutral axis is located. And let's use the top surface for reference to change things up a bit. The distance from my reference to the three centroids will be 0 0.5, 4, and 7.5. The neutral axis is therefore located 3.22 inches below my reference line. This means that the top surface is 3.22 inches above the neutral axis and that the bottom surface is 4.78 inches below the neutral axis. Using the parallel axis theorem, I can calculate the second moment of area I. The distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the green rectangle is 2.78. The distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the red rectangle is 0 0.78. And the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the yellow rectangle is 4.28. This yields a second moment of area of 155.16 inches to the fourth. The normal stress due to bending at the top of the beam will therefore use a y distance of positive 3.222 and the normal stress due to bending in the bottom of the beam will use a distance of minus 4.778, which means that the top is under compression and the bottom is under tension. Thanks for watching.